Hello friends, this video on chemical reactions and equations part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study chemical reactions, chemical equations and types of chemical reactions. The first question that comes to our mind is why we study chemical reactions. Before I, before I introduce you the actual definition of chemical reaction, let's look in the real life scenario of, of chemical reaction. You have this food, you keep this food in the room temperature for let's suppose 30 days, right? After 30 days, it smells. You feel that, you, you'll feel the smell coming out, right? Everything gets rotten, right? This get, get rotten fungus comes here, this, get, this smells a lot. Why this smells? Because there is a reaction that happens in the food and the smell is produced. So this is because of a chemical reaction that happens in the food if you keep the food for a long time. The medicines which you take, these medicines have some reaction in your body and then you feel better. For example, if you have a headache, you take some medicines and then after some time you feel better because these medicines react with the body and create some effect. If you see this tree, how it derives food is, it takes this light, it takes the sunlight, it takes the chlorophyll it has and then it produces food for its own, right? So if you see, this is also a reaction. Photosynthesis, if you have learned in your uh, biology classes, I think, right? So it says that this is nothing but a reaction, a chemical reaction that happens uh, where you have this light and chlorophyll and then which produce, uh, the plant produces food. This is also one example of the chemical reaction we breathe we breathe air right we breathe air and this air is used for survival how this food which we eat on that we got every year oxygen and we get energy and this oxygen we get from respiration. But if you see, this is also a chemical reaction. You have food, you take oxygen, and you add, you get energy. This is an example of one chemical reaction. If you see the batteries, normal the lithium battery or zinc battery which works, is a chemical reaction happening at the positive end, at the negative end. Here oxidation and reduction happen. We'll tell you what oxidation and reduction is. Just understand that some chemical reaction happens, and that chemical reaction produce the electrical energy in the battery also. If you see the iron, iron thing you have, after some time it get rust and this rusting is nothing but a reaction. So we have an iron, iron reacts with oxygen and it produces the rust, right? You have any iron substance you keep in uh, outside uh, your home for 10, 20 days, you'll see that thing got rusted. So this is also one chemical reaction that happens. The food we eat, the food we eat is digested. How it is done? This body produ produces hydrochloric acid and this takes the food and it digests the food. So this everything is nothing but a chemical reaction. The, the digestion of food, the digestion of food is nothing but a chemical reaction. The car which you drive, in the car we put diesel or petrol depending on the car variety you have or petrol or sometimes now people use LPG gas also right or CNG gas if you are living in Delhi so whatever fuel we use that fuel burns and produce energy so this is also bus, nothing but a reaction that happens right you have the car in the car you burn this diesel petrol or gas it gives energy so this is also one reaction, correct? Also it generates heat, it generates heat also in this case. So what you observe in these all these cases, right? Sometimes we get heat as output, sometimes we get some smell. Sometimes the state is changed, for example, this was looking good, but after some time the state got changed, right? State changed, here also state changed, right? So, Sometimes there is a state change, sometimes you get the gas out, sometimes you get the heat, right? So all these things are characteristic of a chemical reaction. So we observe that 
the change of state happened, the color happened, the change in color happened, the evolution of gas also happened in some case and the temperature also changed in some of the cases. So this is what we observe in the initial substance when the initial substance went for a chemical reaction. So before you even define chemical reaction, let's have some activity of chemical reaction. So what I'm doing is I'm taking on clean magnesium ribbon around two centimeter long, right? And I clean that with sandpaper to make sure that there is no dust or something. And I hold with a pair of tongs. So burn this using a spirit lamp and collect some ash. For example, this was my magnesium ribbon, two centimeter long. First, I removed all the dust using sandpaper. And now I'm holding this, I'm burning this with a uh, spirit lamp and all this dust which I'm getting right I'm collecting is in a ball so what you see is this guy this magnesium ribbon this burns with a dazzling flame this, this burn with a dazzling flame right this some flames comes out dazzling flame and this change into white powder this powder if you see is a white in color this is a white powder if you see Right, this is a white powder which you get here. Correct. So the reaction, if you see here, is there was a magnesium there. This guy is a magnesium. Oxygen you got from surrounding air. Plus there was some heat required actually. So there was a heat required. You added some heat and you got magnesium oxide. This is one chemical reaction. If you see, I'm just repeating it here in this scenario, what we have seen that there's a magnesium ribbon that got oxygen from the surrounding because we didn't add anything to that. We just had a magnesium ribbon. We heated it up. On heating, we got magnesium oxide because this thing white powder is nothing but magnesium oxide. So, we already know what magnesium is. We have we have fair understanding of the all the elements a little bit, and we will have more understanding in class eleven. Then we learn again. In fact, in this, the same class itself, where we'll learn the periodic table. So magnesium is the element. We uh, when you combine with oxygen, you get magnesium oxide when you heat this. So this is the example of a chemical reaction that happened where magnesium was converted to oxygen. So what is the chemical reaction? Whenever a chemical change occurs, please note whenever a chemical change occurs, we say that chemical reaction has taken place. In this case, the magnesium was converted to magnesium oxide. Correctly, this is the definition of chemical reaction in the world of chemistry. For example, magnesium plus oxygen in presence of heat converted into magnesium oxide. So, Initial chemical was magnesium and oxygen that got converted to magnesium oxide. So the chemical change happened in this case. So we call this guy chemical reaction. So chemical reaction typically has reaction and products. For example, the reactant is nothing but the substance that undergo change. And product is nothing but the new substance that is formed. For example, in this case, my magnesium and oxygen is something which is undergoing change right so they are reactant a magnesium oxide is the final output so this guy is a product and they are separated by a line because this is a chemical reaction we'll write a chemical equation for the same thing and i'll tell you why we'll write a chemical equation so magnesium and oxygen reacts to form a product called magnesium oxide this is a typical example of chemical reaction where you have a reactant and product where reactant is converted into product. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.